We're underway, and the man from County Wicklow, Ireland, Finn Balor, oh, is here to show luck has nothing to do with his success. Ooh, what an impact. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, clothesline. the impact. Sami Zayn starting to struggle. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. Knee drop. we've all seen over the years, loyalty is a rare trait to have here in WWE. But when it comes to Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar has shown some intense loyalty over the years. He's looking at it. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. But he's got to capitalize now. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. Harsh impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Finn Balor really needs to dig down deep and fast. Or get a shovel and call it a day. Corey, as far as the Lesnar-Heyman partnership, I'd agree with you. And if I had to guess, I'd say Lesnar kept Heyman around for so long so that he didn't have to talk himself. Well, Lesnar certainly is a man of few words, and Heyman, well, the complete opposite. There can be so many combustible elements in a triple threat match. A superstar must keep in mind the no count out stipulation can mean that the match is going to be fought in every possible location. All that matters is when it's time to go for a pinfall or submission, the participants have to be in the ring. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Oh, what a slam. Boom! <laughs> We've witnessed on a number of occasions the personal issues between competitors forcing the match to overflow into the crowd, up the ramp, or in the locker room. In a triple threat, there are no countouts and no disqualification. Lesnar drives him down, but Coley's not finished. No, not at all. Lesnar again with the power. Boom, what impact. So much has been said about Finn Balor being the first WWE Universal Champion, but the challenge he overcame to gain that opportunity shouldn't be overlooked. Yeah, a week after the 2016 draft, Finn Balor's debut ushered in what was called the new era of Monday Night Raw as he beat the odds in a fatal four-way match before going on to defeat Roman Reigns. Reflecting on Finn Balor's main roster debut, Byron said they called it the first episode of the new era. I like to think it was because that was my first night commentating on Monday Night Raw, but I guess Finn had a fine night too. You can be so self-involved, Corey. Jeez. The rest of the WWE Universe recognizes the biggest event that night as the arrival of the extraordinary Finn Balor and the great Corey Graves. Ugh. When this guy's on, look out. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. With all of Finn Balor's ability, it would be difficult to ever say he was overmatched, no matter what your eyes may be seeing. And to say that statement is just a tribute to how transcendent Balor is. Here's an athlete who had only 190 pounds. Oh, boy. That number. Oh, oh, 
Not done. Another power bomb. Is it enough to put Sami Zayn away? Just as devastating the second time around. To restate something Byron said about Finn Balor's physical presence, the typical notion of the bigger man conquering over a smaller challenger doesn't hold true when it comes to Finn. Balor's a rare superstar that fights above his weight class. For most men, it would be biting off more than they can chew, but Finn accepts the challenge with a smile from ear to ear. And Finn Balor is really taking a pounding. I don't know how much more Finn Balor has left. The triple threat match is definitely beginning to test his mettle. He has got to fight back. Finn Balor fought an injury to become Universal Champion. Now he needs to fight that hard again right now. Double axe handle smash. This might be it. Oh, my. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. He's too quick for him there. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, no, he's taken down. You know, I don't think he has much left. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Beautiful technique. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Lesnar. At 22, Puck City. Game, set, match. This one is over. Power bomb. Max Handle finds its target. Here we go. Brock Lesnar is setting it up. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bailey and Sasha Banks. At one point, the quick Lesnar looking to fly. Boom! Face first! Things are about as bad as they could possibly be. He's got the shoulders down. He's left wide open here. There's the pinfall and the victory. Well, guys, not sure what you think, but that was one of the most incredible triple threat matches I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. Here is your it winner, was that good. And that's a huge win for this guy. Beating one WWE competitor is hard enough. But turning back two, that's just plain impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. That was quite a triple threat match we just saw.